guys, uh, Llewellyn here with Born to Whimsy, and I am going live on the Redesign with Prima page today. Um, I am a brand ambassador with Redesign with Prima, and we're going to be adding some transfers on this dresser that I have right here. Um, I'm going to be doing sides of the drawers. So I can see one person on there, so that means we're live. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. Um, let me swipe over, see if I can see these comments here. Um, when you come on, go ahead and say hi. I want to make sure that you all can hear me and that I can see your comments and everything. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today I just wanted to go over how and when do you use your scrap pieces because I know it, once you use enough transfers, you're going to have some extras and you're going to have these sometimes if you don't use the whole thing, you might have these little scrap pieces laying around. So I like to save mine and I'll save them for putting that little extra piece um, on the drawer sides. And okay, I can see more people popping on. So yeah, go ahead and say hello. Let me know that you can hear me. Hi, Roz. Awesome. Good. I can see the comments. So we're good to go. Um, today we're going to be working on this dresser behind me here. I'm just going to lower the camera down. So this is the dresser. I've been painting this one. Um, I do paintings on the fronts of my pieces, so I've just kind of started it already. And I've been doing this one live on the Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast group. But I'm going to be doing adding some of these the my scrap pieces to the sides of the drawers today, just to make give it that extra wow. Because you know this is such a bright, pretty dresser already that I also want um, when you open it, I want to have that little bit of extra pop. Hi, Zan. Thank you. Thanks for saying hello, and thank you guys for joining me today. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna bring it down a little bit lower. There we go. Make sure you guys can see. So I'm just gonna pull these drawers out, and I'm in the middle of painting it. It's not done, but it's on its way. So I don't mind really messing with it right now. And I'm gonna show you how I get the transfers on the sides there. So I've got a few of them. And they're just my scrap pieces. Like these are just my extras. So I think it's a great way to use up all the extra little bits of your transfer and to add um, to add something to the inside as well as the outside. I'm gonna get all situated here. I kind of wanted you guys to be able to see the whole process, including me taking out the drawers, <laughs> which I didn't need to do, but that's all right. Then you could see what I was working on, I think was more of my point. Let me get my last drawer out of here. And this one's still like in progress, so I'm not too worried about my paint yet. And I always go around and I clean up um, my, the edges of my drawers anyway, so I still have to do that. But we are gonna be putting, adding a transfer to right here. Hi, Angela, thank you for saying hello. I hope you guys are having a good day. We are. It's hot as anything. Hot and slightly humid. So what I do when I'm doing the drawer sides, um, also let me know if you can't see that. I'll bring the camera down just slightly. When I'm doing the drawer sides, there we go. I like to just line them up on the ground like so. And I always go in afterwards and I'll seal with like a polyacrylic just to um, make sure that my transfer isn't gonna get too scratched up when it moves in and out of the drawer. So I usually seal a few times. And all I need to make sure with my drawer sides here is that they're clean and free of any oils. So I did wipe them down. Uh, this dresser was pretty dry. It has not been oiled, especially on the drawer sides in a long time. So I wasn't too worried about that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, and these are, um, this is the Violet Hill transfer. It's just the, I have some leftover, like the corner pieces that come with it. And they're kind of bigger, you know, they have some bigger extras, but it's not that main front piece. So I used the main piece of this transfer already. I used it on a big dresser. Oh, thank you so much. So I used it on the front of another dresser. And then what do you do with those little extras? Well, 
This is what I decided to use mine for. You can also use them for small projects. Um, a lot of times one transfer will go pretty far and there are some of them that are split up so well you can use them on a whole range of things. So let me find the pieces that match and I'm just gonna um, sort of place them. I know that this is the top of the dresser down to the bottom. So I wanna make sure that you get it kind of lined up on the three drawers so when you open them, they just have that little pop of flowers coming out. And I think I'm gonna do it like this. Try and center it a bit. And I'm gonna leave some of my, um, these one come with the little gold lettering. So I'm gonna leave some of that on there and then I'm gonna cut some off. So it's pretty simple. You just take your scissors and with the backing sheet still on, just cut around the transfer, wherever you wanna take it off. I'm not sure how much, I can always add more later. And you still have the gold lettering, so you can always put it back on there if you want it. And I'll just save that one and put it up. And I'm gonna cut out, this transfer's gotta be one of my favorites. It's so pretty. I'm gonna cut out the flowers down here. It's really simple, you just cut right around the transfer. And I like to cut my edges off anyway, just because it's easier to deal with. Oh, hi Amy, thanks for joining today. I'm just gonna get most of that gold lettering off because it would be a bit sideways. I'll leave the gold lettering behind the pieces. And like I said before, if you want it, you can go back and put more on. I always save like every little scrap pretty much. <laughs> I have a drawer full of scraps and I'm like, the drawer sides are perfect with those. Once you use enough transfers, you'll have some extra for sure. Okay. So this is what I have. I'm just gonna line it up one more time to make sure that I know exactly where I'm gonna put it. And I just have my drawers on the ground, on their sides, super easy. And all I need to do here is peel, you just slowly peel the backing off and it should come off pretty easy. It's just like a wax paper. And then before you really press it, just lay it so you know where you're gonna put it 100%. And then you can smooth it right on there. And now um, I have this extra little piece, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes for that and I'm gonna start rubbing this top part on. So with the transfer, they always come with this little rubbing stick. And this is just, this is your basic tool that they send you with it. And you just rub it right onto the wood or the painted surface, whatever you're going over. And you guys, if you have any questions, do let me know. Um, I, I'll definitely come back and sometimes Facebook doesn't always show us all of them. It's a little weird sometimes, but I'll come back through and make sure I've seen them all. And I've also got Roz on here, if she's still here. She's, she's pretty knowledgeable. So this is just the stick that it came with. Um, Redesign with Prima does carry an application tool that's just a bit wider. So for a nice flat surface like th this, that would work as well. And I'm just gonna try and hold my drawers nice and tight here so I'm not wiggling them too much. And you'll kind of see when it starts to stick um, it changes colors a little bit on the plastic part. Okay. 
and I usually just use like a little razor blade to go right here and cut it, but I'm not sure where mine went. So if my husband walks back in here, or if he hears me, he might be watching. <laughs> I'll ask him to get it for me. I know he went upstairs with the kids. Just when I would need him too. <laughs> oh, Roz is still there, all right. So yeah, I just very carefully, you go through and I'm rubbing it on there. Well, you don't even have to be all that careful, you know, usually get into it pretty hard just to make sure this transfer is sticking. And you can start to sort of see where it's sticking and where it's not. And you can pull this up. Now, I had a little tiny bit of lifting over here. So you can lay it back down and just rub it a little bit more. And it went right onto the wood here. You can hear my drawers, they're squeaking. <laughs> they're just laying up against each other. So this is my process. I just go through and a little bit at a time, I pull up the plastic and make sure that my transfer is all the way down. And by going back and rubbing, you're pretty much burnishing with the plastic over it. But I also make sure to rub it afterwards too. Once I pull the plastic off, I like to give it just that extra little bit so you don't have anything. No more surprises when you go to seal it. And just work your way down slowly. I think the biggest thing with the transfers has got to be patience. You know, if you're if you're patient with it and you do it right, you won't have any issues. You get it on there with no air bubbles. They're pretty sticky, so they do want to stick to whatever you put on them. Use your scissors. Good idea, they're right next to me. I'll use them. Let me do that while it's still on there. Let's see if it'll work. See if they're sharp enough. Good idea, Roz, you're always thinking for us. I have the tiniest little bit of a space in between. That looks good. I want to make sure I'm getting a nice straight line. The scissors are working. There we go. Got it. Now you can see. And it's all nice and lined up because I had these perfectly put together. I had my drawers all nice and straight. Gonna keep pulling it down slowly. Making sure we get everything on there. And if it looks a little bit white, we're gonna go back and rub it anyway. So um, on bare wood or just you know regular stained wood, these with a clear coat on it, I never usually even see the halo. It really just blends right in. And there we go. So we've got the top part on there. Yes, it's always, thank you, Ross. <laughs> it's easier when they're not all to, all stuck together in one big lump. And I'm just burnishing with my hand. That's usually what I'll do as long as my hand is dry. You can go through and you just rub that transfer. It doesn't hurt the transfer. I'm not rubbing that hard and I'm just making sure any little bubbles that you see, occasionally you'll see them like where the wood grain are. I just wanna be pressing those down. And the transfers are pretty sturdy if they're on a flat surface. I don't worry about rubbing them and stuff. So they don't, you know, they don't break that easily, especially when it's just one flat surface you're putting them on. 
Okay, now let's get this middle part done. And at the end, I'm definitely gonna, um, I'm gonna put the drawers in and try and turn the camera so that we can see how our little pop of color looks too. Do it on this drawer, kind of cut just right between them. Or blade, just use my scissors. Okay. And we just keep rubbing that transfer on there. Just the same. And I'm just using the little applicator stick that came in the box. If you guys um, are just popping on, go ahead and say hello. Let me know where you're from today. How's the weather where you're at? We're hot. And if you have any questions, do let us know. I like questions because it always like tells me what I'm if I'm missing something, you know. Hi from the Netherlands. Hello, thanks for watching today. You gotta tell me what time it is there in the Netherlands. Is it late? And this part is just the big flat part. Um, it's a larger area of the transfer. It's covering more of the wood over here. So I'm just gonna be really thorough as I rub. It'll be easier to pull it off, like pull off the plastic, but I also wanna be make sure that I don't have any air bubbles. Thanks, Roz. Yeah, it went perfect. I just had to use the little extra pieces of the transfer that I had left over for these drawer sides because it's this bright, fun, colorful piece. Um, actually, after this live, I'm gonna hop over to another one and I'm gonna be painting the sky on here, so. Oh, okay, it's just not. 1900 yes not too bad this is going to look pretty with the painting yes thank you Amy I think it will too I think the colors went perfectly I was going through like I have like I said before I have a drawer of all my scraps and I was going through it and I was like which ones would I use and this this one just jumped right out at me and said use me because because the colors are perfect. Okay, so we pull it back once all of our little edges are on. And it looks all on there. And there's a little bit extra right here. I'm just gonna wrap that right under the bottom of the drawer. It'll probably end up scratching off, but that's okay. Because you know, the drawer slides back and forth. going on really nicely on this piece too. Like I said um, before, this, oops, I got some paper under there. I'll just pick that out. This piece um, had obviously not been oiled in a very long time, so I didn't have to worry about oils on my wood, and I didn't have to worry about, um, it was a pretty clean piece. It just needed a good, gave it a good dusting, and on the inside, I wiped the inside out with a little bit of soap and water and then just wiped it clean. Here, and I'm just burnishing it with my hand so it gets right there on the other drawer side. And then we will move on to the last one. Last couple of pieces here, moving pretty quick today. And how long has this taken me? I'm at what, 25 minutes? This is awesome. Oh, cool. I'm glad that this is helpful. You know, and I'm sure everybody has a different way of doing things too. Um, this is just 
I don't want to do it too quick. There we go. <laughs> this is just what I found worked for me and how I decided to put them on, you know. If you find a different way that works better for you, go for it. I'm just rubbing them on and slowly pull off that backing that they're attached to. And I um, pretty much do the same thing with the drawers. Um, a lot of times I'll take the drawers out and line them up on the floor, or if I'm doing it with it in it, I'll put the transfer on the front and then use the razor blade just to cut really quick right along the edge. For me personally, that's what I found works. And then just kind of burnishing and rubbing it on with my hand. We're going to get this little extra on here too. Put these drawers back together the way they were so everything's lined up. And I'm just trying to line up the edge as well as I can. Um, if you're worried about them sort of overlapping at all, like some people don't like that little bit of a halo, you can cut right along the edge of your transfer and cut the plastic off. I'm not too worried about it with this being on the inside of the drawer. Um, you know, it's not, it's not the focal point of the piece as much as it, as it would be if it were on the front on the top. So, okay, I gotta like wiggle this drawer perfectly and get these lined up. There we go. Got it. Get it rubbed on there a little bit just to get it to stick. And normally I wouldn't be using the scissors. I'd be using the razor blade, but I totally spaced, so... Roz saved me. Scissors idea. There we go. Yeah, usually I just run that razor blade right through there and it cuts it right off. This part so they're not bonking. And the same as before, just rubbing it on there. Once you feel like you've got it on there a bit, just pull that backing off. And if you see anywhere where it's lifting up, um, you can use a clean cloth and rub your clean cloth on there, or you can use your hands if they're clean. this one little corner left right here. I'm just going to get this on and then we'll put these drawers in and see what we did. And I have just the right amount of um, the corner piece from this transfer to do on the other side of the drawers as well and it will semi-match. Sometimes these smaller ones are harder than the bigger ones. that go over the edge you can always use some sandpaper and like run it like right along the edge mine looks pretty good the scissors did a decent job at cutting it so if you did have like a little bit of a jagged edge though sandpaper does the trick really easily all right so i'm gonna put these in give me two seconds okay maybe 30 seconds get these in here really quick And 
we'll see. We'll see them popped out. How they look. pull them out really quick so we can see the pop of that transfer coming out on the side and it's all lined up nice and pretty get my chair out of the way and I'll bring you guys over make sure I don't tip it <laughs> Drop the phone off. There we go. Sorry, I've got limited space here in my wee corner. Okay, and there it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. It worked out really good. So yeah, that's how. Just wanted to get a quick, a quick overview of kind of how I would put the transfer on the sides of the drawers. Um, I will post this when it's all done. You know, I haven't finished. I'm actually gonna go live in about, oh, 30 minutes here. And I'm gonna be painting the clouds on the front and I've still got more to do, but I will be posting the finished pictures. And I wanna say thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I'll be back on, I usually do about two lives a month. And if you check all of us brand ambassadors, we usually do um, under events. We usually do, then what's next? What's next for what? <laughs> For the transfers, oh, I usually clear coat it after this. I don't know if that's what you're asking, but I would clear coat it just to seal in the transfer and make sure it's not gonna rub off from the drawers. But if you go under events, you can find, um, you can put interested or going to the events and it'll just give you a notification on Facebook of when the brand ambassadors are going live. And yeah, I think that's it for today. So thank you all and I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. I will talk to you soon, bye-bye.